Now this is the story all about how I upgraded to Windows 11 and didn't back up my files. And now I'm gone. But it's okay. It's all okay. I'm not mad. Well actually I did back up my stuff, it just somehow got corrupted, so that's awesome. But in other news though, Cyrex has quickly rebound from the whole whiny sad part of his cycle to now angry again and demanding respect from the trolls. Quick thing before we fully start though, once again, thank you everybody who's liking the videos and subbing to the channel, it's super appreciated. And if you like this video today, why not leave a like and maybe sub if you want to see more of it. And like always, the original video on Inboy's channel will be posted in the description below. Well without further ado, let's hop right into the Rexverse. Again. Hi y'all. Uh, I'm making this video because I got something I want to get off my goddamn chest. I'm getting fucking sick and tired of not knowing who the fuck to trust. When it comes to people reaching out for help, I'm tired of not knowing who the fuck to trust. Like, I'm fucking tired of it, dude. Everybody coming in, claiming they want to help me, and then this person's over here saying that this person's doing this and that. And then this person saying they ain't doing it, and then this same person that's saying they ain't doing it is claiming that this dude's fake. I'm tired of it, man. I'm sick of all the goddamn fake shit, dude. I'm sick of it, bro. Y'all motherfuckers need to cut the goddamn bullshit, and motherfuckers better start being real with me. Y'all better start being fucking real with my ass, or heads are gonna be fucking rolling, dude. I'm tired of it. Could you imagine living in the same, well first, I know none of us could because we all kick him out and beat his ass or something, but just just hear me out for one sec. Imagine, if you will, a world where you have to live with this fucking goblin. Sorry, anyways, imagine you live with this guy, right? And you wake up in the middle of the night, you're going to get some water because you're thirsty, and you walk by. What would you do if you just heard this shit every single night? Because I, I can't fathom how Sally has not burst down the door and just grabbed him by his ankles and just so long gave Bowser them like around <laughs> I don't know how I could not I could not do it he's mad that people aren't being trustworthy to him or whatever Cyrex once again you're the you're the least trustworthy person of all time honestly that I've probably ever seen in my entire life but you're just now catching on that you're being long gamed you're just now catching on that you're being trolled I'm, I'm assuming he's talking about the shadow collective or whoever you know I haven't, I've been kind of busy, so I haven't been able to keep up with things as much as I would like to recently. But I'm assuming it's Civil War in the in the Shadow Collective right now. But with that being said, who does he think he has the power over? We've seen you get beat up, you know what I mean? We didn't need to see you get beat up at all, actually. We just need to look at you and understand that you're not a threat to anybody except for Sally, an old woman. You're not even a threat to Ed. We know that you got punched out when Ed confronted you about something or you confronted Ed about something. And Ed's an old man too. So it's just, it's, he's just, you know, not to be weird, but he's he's just a man and you can only beat up on women. That's all you can do. And you can't even beat up, <laughs> even Heather could have knocked you out to be honest. Talking about heads will roll. Like we're back in the Vlad the Impaler days. Could you imagine that too? Like, oh man. He would be, if we were back in the old times, Cyrex would be put in a cage so fast. I go watch it too. I go throw the tomatoes at him. Okay, that's enough. I'm sorry. I'm sick of the fucking garbage, man. I'm tired of motherfuckers using me for views, using me for money, trying to get me to be like this person and that person. I'm fucking tired of it, dude. I'm fucking sick of it, bro. Y'all motherfuckers need to straighten the fuck up and cut the goddamn bullshit. I'm tired of not knowing who the fuck to trust. I'm sick of it. I've been through this shit for five fucking years of not knowing who the fuck to trust. Alright? I'm fucking tired of it. Somebody better start fucking being real with me. Cause I guarantee you if I find out anybody's being fake with me, I'll cut your ass off. I don't give a fuck who you are. If I find out you're being fucking fake, I'll cut your ass off. I'm sick of it, dude. Sorry for all the censors, by the way. It's just, he, he doesn't understand any other transition word other than the F word. So, I don't think I can have too many of those on YouTube. I apologize. If it was up to me, I would not censor it, but I kind of have to. But why does he think his presence is so renowned to the fact where cutting somebody off is a detriment to them? Cyrex, you're not like... <laughs> You're not a good friend, let alone a good person to people, so cutting somebody off doesn't really mean much to them. Unless they're mentally ill like you are. What do you guys think specifically happened to make him so upset 
so quickly because just the other day he was crying and sobbing and begging once again I, I don't want this to keep happening guys I've never seen it happen like this. Is this the first time in the Rex universe we ever seen him cycle through so fast? I've only ever seen one other person cycle like this and that was the old woman in a nursing home and she, her cycle was like, she lay in bed for two minutes, walk from her room down the hall, sit at the dining table, pick up a newspaper, read it for two minutes and then get up and do it again and she did it all day. That's the only other time I've ever seen somebody cycle like this. I deserve peace. I deserve to live my life, and I deserve to make a goddamn living. Oh, and by the way, CDG, see you little crack-headed motherfucking bitch. You ain't nothing but a little bad fuck you. All you're doing is using my name to get famous, bro. That's why you're mentioning my name, because you want to get famous off me. You're a fucking bitch and a nobody. You ain't shit without me. Matter of fact, None of you trolls are shit without me. Ray Shaman, Marty, CDG, Wayne Boyhole, all y'all motherfuckers, Metal Gear Rats, Ted Smoker, you dumb little bitch motherfuckers wouldn't be shit without me. Do you even realize that? Without me, y'all wouldn't have shit. Without me, you wouldn't be nothing. So instead of fucking talking down to me, I'll tell y'all right now, I demand y'all's motherfucking respect. And the reason why I demand it is because I fucking earned that shit. How? <laughs> How, Cyrax, have you earned anybody's respect at all? Let alone the people you just named. If anything, you've garnered nothing but their hatred and ridicule. Who in their right mind is feeding him this stuff? Because a lot of times people do say it's Sally or Ed. I do think she's the one reaffirming all the, you deserve to live happy, you deserve to do what you want to do, which is just not the case for any human. You're not just born and then you can just say, I deserve this and then you go do it. You have to earn those things. And of course, as we all know, we all know, Cyrex has done nothing to earn anything. Except for a jail sentence. He's definitely earned that. I will say this though. We definitely do use his name for clicks and views and likes and subs if you want to do that that's cool too but anyways some of the people who talk about you rags have had big channels way before they ever mentioned you or even thought about you or even knew you existed so those kind of people would still be here you know i've seen many big creators use your name for clicks and things like that but they're still actually good at what they do unlike you they practice their craft they get better at what they're doing they've curated a fan base and a community where people go to watch them for them and are also intrigued with what they talk about. So it's not just you. That being said though, we definitely do come to see you racks out, which is, you know, hilarious. Without me, you wouldn't have shit. Without me, you dumb motherfuckers wouldn't have content. So instead of barking your little bitch mouse, how about you motherfuckers sit down and shut the fuck up and start showing me the respect that I earned, that I worked my ass off for. Y'all ain't do shit. Y'all ain't the jack shit to earn anyone's respect. Without me, you motherfuckers wouldn't have shit. You wouldn't be shit without me. Like I told y'all before in the very beginning, I run this shit. I run the show. I run the game. Without me, you wouldn't have shit and you know it. Y'all motherfuckers wouldn't be shit. You wouldn't get the views that you got without me. So instead of barking your little bitch mouth and trying to screw me over and do this and do that, how about y'all shut the f up, sit the f down, and show me some goddamn respect? Y'all tired of not being respected. See, I didn't know I came here to be disrespected. I'm tired of you dumb motherfuckers just using me like I'm some sort of in cash cow machine whatever I'm tired of man you want to know the greatest remedy to all those problems logging off going offline you know what happens when I don't want to be bothered by people when I play games Cyrex I go invisible or I go offline you can literally just do that there I'm gonna say this almost every video you do not need to be making these videos especially this one because if you're talking about the Shadow Collective or Dark Reunion, you have their numbers, you have their contact information. So why? It's like when rappers, like, I can't stand this shit. I like rap, but rappers can be just the dumbest people. But then again, most of them can't read. Anyways, they, they always do this thing. And it's for clout, I know. But it's like, instead of just calling somebody, they'll post it on Instagram or social media or whatever. 
The same like Cyrax, you're a grown ass man, 32 years old, and look at that dirty ass room. Mm -mm -mm. 32 years old, can't clean his fucking room. That's definitely, that's marriage material right there. Making these videos, playing games, making no money from it. I, I do think gaming inherently is a younger, I don't, because childish has like a negative connotation to it. Playing a game doesn't make you a child, obviously. Playing games doesn't do that. But when it's all you do, then yes, it's childish. And on top of it, it'd be different if he was making money from it. You don't get, you don't gain anything from the things that you're doing. He keeps walking up this never ending hill and fighting this, these imaginary battles in his mind instead of just fixing the problem. But then again, it's obvious that he may need help, even though he doesn't deserve the help, but he may need help. But the people around him, i.e. Sally, it's not really Ed's responsibility, but Sally's responsibility. Sally and Rupal actually, because a lot of people forget Rupal, but uh, that is, that was his dad. And instead of being in his life, he decided to do something horrible and go to jail forever. So screw him too, not just for what he did, but having a kid and just, you know, getting hemmed up. But they don't, they don't do anything to wrangle him, which is exactly what these kind of people need. When you reaffirm somebody else's delusions, you are causing their delusions. You are allowing it to take hold, which we see, we see that a lot now. But with this specific case, it's, it's, it's very prevalent that the people inside this house just let it run wild and then they they blame people like me or you guys for watching it why do you do this why do you do that because it's spilling out into the rest of the world if we were in a village and you were how you are today and all you did was just, you just were in your home being whatever and not bothering people nobody would really care but it's the moment it starts to spill out into the rest of the village, which is what's happened before with the with the mass hole situation, with all these Xbox Live account situations, Blind Billy, Heather, stealing people's music, all kind of stuff. It's spilled out into the, now it's affecting other people. And that's why a lot of us go so hard. I earn my respect. I earn the right to make a living. I earn my right to do whatever the fuck I want to do. I put in more hours and more hard work than any motherfucker on this platform. I put in more hours than PewDiePie, than Jack Sunday. I put in more hours than any fucking YouTuber on the face of this earth. Don't believe me? Check my fucking work. <laughs> Go back and look at my motherfucking history. Well, you dumb motherfucking told to sit there sleeping on your Tempur-Pedic mattresses. I'm over here busting my ass. Was that a Freudian slip? Why Tempur-Pedic specifically? Does, does he hate people with good mattresses? He has no concept of work or time, which is why he even believes that. Most of us wake up, go to work, and then we come home and do whatever. A lot of people are overworked and have been working since they were literal children, like 16 or even sometimes 15 is when a lot of people start. Uh, but he he really doesn't under, he doesn't understand that because he's never actually had to do that, which is a bit infuriating, but also sad at the same time. Man, think just think about that actually. He's never had to wake up early, leave in the AMs, sit in traffic, get on the highway through bad weather, raining, snowing, fog, whatever, during the rush hour, navigate through all the crazy drivers, finally get to work itself, set things up, log in, you know, all kind of stuff. And then you just do the work and uh and then lunchtime. He can just he's never had to do it at lunchtime. That's hilarious. And that's only half of the day. That's something he's never ever had to experience in any situation whatsoever. Yet he thinks he's a harder worker than PewDiePie or Markiplier or, or Jacksepticeye. And I'm not a huge fan of those guys, but they have put in so much work for years. So I'm saying this right now, every single one of you goddamn bitch ass trolls spark me your damn mouth. Without me, you don't fucks want to be shit, and you fucking know it. So to every troll out there that wants to run your mouth, you get shut the fuck up. Because y'all know, without me, you wouldn't have shit, and you wouldn't fucking be shit without me. So sit down, shut the fuck up, and go the fuck on somewhere, and do something else other than fuck with me. You dumb bitches. Yeah, I'm sure in the coming days we're gonna see him go right back to crying and begging for help because it's part of his cycle. But right now he really thinks he's Tony Montana or somebody like that. We've seen you get manhandled so many times, you're not even you're not a threat to anybody. Like back in the past, I used to think that he probably does have some little bit of power. So Marty's a big guy. So after that fight, I wasn't really like, oh he he can't he, like anybody can beat him, you know. I it, 
I figured that was the case, but it wasn't solidified yet. But after the wear myself thing with the guy, you can see him trying his hardest to get his bat back. And he cannot. And the guy is using one arm. And this wasn't some kind of bodybuilder or anything who's just like way stronger than Rax, but he's an actual child. I really think a straight 14 year old or 13 year old boy can just straight body Rax. So all this intimidation is not having any effect on anybody. That's about it for today though guys. It's kind of a quicker one because the videos I was planning to release got deleted unfortunately like I said. It really sucks like in my Chris Chan video I gotta, I'm gonna have to restart that but it's all good. You know we, we keeping it pushing. It can't, shit happens. I'm not, I can't say I'm not mad. I am mad because I'm not even, I'm not even done with it. Like now my, my, now Windows can't even find my Windows key. I'm, like, I'm not buying this expensive ass Windows key again. It should be in my account but yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more content from me, go ahead and hit that sub button. I'm always posting. If you made it this far, you're a real one. And check out my other vids if you feel like it too. That's all I got for you guys today. Hope you have a great one. And peace. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, as, I was, as I was recording this outro, apparently uh, Daniel Larson has gone bankrupt. So uh, do with that information what you will. And just letting, letting you guys know. Anyways, here, here's the meme that I put at the end of my videos. Here's the meme. If you have something to say, then just spit it out already. Super idol the